What is up guys? I'm Daddy Gamer Fred and welcome back to another Super Mario 3D World Guide video. Now in today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to get infinite one-ups very early on in the game. As you can see, World 1-1 one, one is complete, World 1-2 is complete, but I actually didn't touch the flagpole on this safe house, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. But as well, I'm going to go in, dive in, and collect infinite one-ups. And I'm going to show you how it's done and how it can be done pretty much at the beginning of the game. Very easy. Something you can exploit throughout this game multiple times in multiple areas. But again, this one, having access to it very early on in the game is pretty helpful. Especially if you have a second player or little brother and sister that keeps wanting to jump on. And they're going to be wasting a ton of your lives. You don't have to worry about it by doing this method. So what you want to do, and there's multiple spots for this. There's no right or wrong way to do this. What you're going to need though is a Koopa shell. So what you want to do is kill one of these guys and then grab one of these shells. Oh, damn, it hit me. Let's grab one of these shells. I like going, ooh, not into Mario, but I like going down here. So I could grab this shell. Wait, oh, I killed him. Okay, no biggie. Let's go through here. And let's go grab that shell that I left up there. Oh, not this way. This way. Let's go grab this shell. Let's go down. Uh, can I go down here? Yes, I can. I like going in this cave. Like right here. And when you in here. Oh, don't tell me these bad guys are going to try to come. But. Um, when you go right here, I am currently holding Y, and that's to pick up the shell. So what you want to do, oh my god, did I just kill him through the wall? I'm trying to shoot a video here. Okay, so what we're going to do is going to grab this guy's shell, and uh, make sure he doesn't come back for it. Let's uh, get rid of him. Okay, and then what we want to do is in this cave, I'm going to let go of the shell and jump at the same time to jump on top of the shell and it's going to give me points until i get a free man and because i'm still jumping on the shell it's going to keep on ranking up and give me a ton of free man so as you can see in the top left of the screen i have nine so i'm gonna drop it oh there we go and it should hit me but that is not a problem because we are going to land on top of it after the first jump and as you can see our Freemans are just ranking up right now. We are literally over 100 already. And you can do this until the timer runs out. You should have as much Freemans as you need before the timer runs out. Because, again, you do get a ton. So I'm actually going to fast forward through this part right here so you can see how much you get within the time limit that I have left. So as you can see, we're less than a few away from a thousand, and instead of giving us a thousand, the nine is going to turn into a crown, and then it's going to still continue to go up. So as you can see, we have one crown, and then it's going all the way past, and I believe uh, the highest you can get is 1,100. Yeah, 110, and then it will stop actually counting. It's still showing that I'm getting one up, but it actually stopped counting right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn into a fire flower and then immediately lose it because that's exactly what I wanted to do. <laughs> but I am going to complete this stage. Again, you don't really need to. You just lose one of the lives, but I am going to complete the stage. I do really need to complete it. So let's just go through and again this can be done in a multiple of spots let's actually collect this up perfect but this can be done in a multiple of spots it doesn't have to be that one cave location it could be anywhere that you can grab a shell let me just grab it let me grab a shell from here and you can bounce off the wall so a lot of people do it at a bunch of different locations i know people do it here oh okay i hit him but i was gonna say people do it here too as well so pretty much any location you're able to grab a green shell and hit the koopa over and over and over let's keep going
And that's pretty much it guys on how to get infinite lives inside of World 1 2 inside the Super Mario 3D World very early on in the game. A very helpful tip. It's kind of funny because Nintendo also shared a Twitter clip of this tip and everybody was like, wait, is this cheating? Technically it's not. And this is again a helpful way if you do have a second player that jumps on and that <laughs> ends up losing you a lot of lives. You don't have to worry about lives because again, you can have infinite as long as you do this trick. And again, the fact that this is at the second level is perfect because right out the gate, you can have infinite lives, try out the game and basically run through the game without worrying about actually dying. And it doesn't really take anything away from completing the game 100% like using the white gold Tanuki suit. This is something that, you know, you should be using. Again, Nintendo is promoting to be using this on their Twitter because again, it's a helpful tip and it's not cheating because you still have to complete the levels by yourself without actually glitching or anything. This is just a way to, you know, work the system just like you were able to do in Super Mario 1 and Super Mario World in many ways to get yourself infinite lives. I'm glad to see that the trip actually still works after all of these years in Super Mario 3D World. Let me know your thoughts about it in the comment section below. Do you think it's cheating? Do you gonna use this trick? I personally use it a ton, again, with my playing with my daughter. She uses a bunch of lives, so this helps me not actually get a game over screen. Let me know your thoughts about it in the comment section below. Like always, guys, I answer all comments so we can have that conversation down there. If you're new around here, consider hitting that subscribe button. I do videos like this daily on Super Mario World. Pokemon, Call of Duty, and Fortnite. So again, if you are interested in the vibes, click that subscribe button. Also, hit the like button. It does help me out a ton as far as moving the video and to recommend it so other people can check out the videos. Peace. I love you guys. I'm going to see you guys on the next one. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for making it to the end of this video. If you're not a subscriber and you made it this far, hit that subscribe button. You know you want to. Join the family. Ring the bell so you can be notified on the next time I drop one of my videos as well as hit the like button on this video so it could be recommended so more people can check it out so we can have more people join in the family if you want to keep up with me on other social media platforms such as twitter instagram or tiktok or whatever i'm daddy gamer fred on all of those again daddy gamer fred you'll be able to find all those links in the description of this video and the pin tweet comment on my twitter also on all of my videos i do answer all comments so again if you just want to chat it up about the video or anything just hit me up in the comment section below i take time out of my day and literally answer to all the comments that you guys leave me and i love it and again let's have that conversation down there here are a couple of suggested videos that you guys should check out that may be of your interest i am a variety channel i do tons of stuff tons of pokemon but tons of other stuff as well so dive into these videos peace i love you guys i'm gonna see you guys on the next one